This is my first Pride in general, and it's our first yeah. Pride together. So it's a momentous occasion. It's nerve wracking. One, there are a lot of people who don't like who we are, yeah. but that's exactly why I'm here today, to show them that we are a sense of community and that we Period. stand together. I'm Eric Mendoza, I am 26 years old. And I'm Zachary Goldstein, and I'm 20 years old, and we're both from South Florida. And we've been together for a year. I've been an artist for 15 years now. I've implemented art throughout my entire life, basically. I make art because I want people to be able to relate to one another. I want, it to, I want people to have an open conversation. I don't want to have just one view. I want people to be able to talk to one another about a certain topic. So for me, I feel like it's important for people to just conversate with each other and just to be able to have that open space and that safe space. There are definitely a plethora and array of things that I love about Eric, and I can tell you that now. One is the charisma, because Lord have mercy, I've never met someone so charismatic before. The comfortability factor that goes into it, like when he comes over every weekend, all my stresses melt away, all my worries melt away, like I don't feel a bit of anxiety. There's nothing in my head that is like, you're in danger, I'm ultimately at a pure sense of peace. I know a lot of people who don't have their familiar support and the first person they come to is my dad. My dad is a pinnacle of support, not only for me, but almost every community that we're in because he can just give out huge amounts of love and support that has absolutely no strings attached. And that to me was what I really needed to feel when I came out. The pride parade is, um, gives me great pride in who you are and there's nothing about you that I would change. You're an absolutely amazing young man. I love you tremendously. And, you know, as you go to this Pride event, don't forget that I'm extremely proud of you for who you are and, you know, the way that you've just become such a, a proper young man. And, and I love you very much for it. And I'm very, very proud of you. And I hope you. you have a wonderful time in this loving community and with your loving boyfriend. Having my dad's support is literally my entire world. I really don't know what I would do without it. This is like the first time I've been in a relationship where it's, how can we both be happy at the yeah. same time? Because if we're both not happy, then nobody's happy. Our relationship, it's not like, oh, he's my other half, he's my 50. Like, adding to my 50, it's, no, I'm 100% me, he's 100% me, we're our own individuals. Growing up, I was like, damn, I should've came out a long time ago because I felt like I really missed out on a lot of opportunities and experiences making new friends. I definitely feel welcome, and I think Miami's the perfect place for somebody who's a Latino and gay where they can come out and they can be themselves. I feel like it's important for our community to get together and to understand each other. One, it's an outlet. It is a way to know that you are not alone. You are accepted. Somebody out there has a similar story and they love you just as much as you love yourself. But it's also important because, you know, like when there are those family and those times where kids come out and they're not accepted, like you now have a safety net that was ripped away from you by your safety net. Like it provides ways for people to feel safe, comfortable and loved. This is the first time I felt comfortable enough in my skin to actually dress the way I want, feel the way I want, do what I want, wear what I want, say what I want. So I feel like he is definitely the person that I want to go with to Pride with for my first time. Us queer people, we're very resilient. We're always gonna push through and fight through. If you push, push us 10 steps back, we're gonna go, we're gonna jump 20 steps further. For me, I think the future of Miami is gonna be great for us queer folks. We deserve respect, we demand respect. I'm not here to be accepted by you. I demand to be accepted. We are all equal no matter what. 